Thanks for joining me today at Slot Valley Racing. For those who don't know, my name is Dan, and today we are going to look at the white Ford GT. It's the car that's paintable, so you can do whatever you'd like. These cars look absolutely fantastic. The white blanks are such a great idea. Allows you to do whatever you'd like with the car. The shape is absolutely fantastic. It's done in the Ford GT uh, style shell. And of course it has the Mega G Plus chassis underneath. All this and more today on Slot Valley Racing. Get your heart racing. 10, 9, ignition sequence start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... I want to take a minute to thank all my subscribers. I'd like to thank everybody for watching this video. Maybe if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now may be your time. And I am absolutely giving you permission to smash the shit out of that, that subscribe button. Hit the like button while you're there too. That being said, I want to thank you all for watching. Let's get into this. All right, so let's have a look at the packaging. So of course this is the Ford GT. It's the uh, paintable version. Absolutely fantastic. This is a great idea. Let's have a look at the front, of course. Of course, it's an AFX Mega G Plus product. Once again, nothing on the cover that lets me know what this is. Not even a part number. Let's go to the back for that. All right, here we are at the back. Of course, it's an AFX product, and they're, they just talk a little bit about the Mega G chassis. A few different languages. A few highlights of the Mega G chassis. Absolutely fantastic, although we do know that uh, the level 30 is not fast enough. Uh, so, or, sorry, not, uh, not enough downforce on a level 30. So we moved to level 42. And the FN20 is the power unit, that's the CAN motor. Whoa. And of course, it's part number 22070. All right, let's get into this. Wow, I love how these look. Of course, the rims are unpainted as well. If you remember, the uh, production car has blue on one side and red on the other for rims. Okay. And there's the uh, Mega G Plus chassis. I really think AFX has done a fantastic job with all of these paintable bodies. They give you the opportunity to make the race car of your own dreams, not theirs. These cars are fantastic. They're incredibly detailed. Even when you start painting them, the detail still shows through. Like, look at the rear. Family firm. Oh, son of a. Excuse me, look at the side mirrors. Absolutely fantastic. All the vents are there, the fin, the spoiler, the tires are not painted, but at least they're exactly like the ones that came on the car. So you can paint them how you'd like. As of late, AFX has been doing a fantastic job of putting out quality product. I just want to say and give a shout out to AFX. Thank you very much. You guys have been doing a great job. Keep it up. Coming up in Top Fuel and Funny Car Fridays, I've procured the Brandon Bernstein Mav TV 
chrome top fuel dragster. So that'll be coming up. And of course, there's the two top fuel dragsters from release number one. They'll be coming up as well. Also, if you've been following, you see I started a little bit of uh, animation series and uh, I'm gonna carry that on. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, Scooby-Doo is gonna be in the house right away. We have a mystery going on at Slot Valley Racing. Um, so if you're not following it, uh, now might be the time to start. All right, so let's go to the track. We'll do some laps. We'll do a couple laps on the urban track. Then we'll do a couple laps on the super speedway. Basically, so we could look at that awesome catch fencing I installed the other day. Here we are at the urban track with the Ford GT40. Paintable, of course. Part number 22070. Absolutely fantastic. Man, these cars are great. These cars give you the opportunity to build your own dream car. It's absolutely a fantastic idea. Both manu major manufacturers are doing uh, doing it these days. Of course, one of them has more options, uh, but I'm after quality myself, not quantity. Quick look at the track before we start burning it up. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, due to the shape of my uh, track, I can't really get the far, everything that's on that side is just a little curve around the corner there. You're not really missing too much. I'll show a view of that in a moment. Actually, I'll show it right now. So essentially that's what you're missing, that little area right back there. And then of course, across the bridge, around. Back to the start, bring it back around there to the bridge. Eventually there'll be water under there, under. So what do you think? Uh, I put the catch fencing up. It used to be the orange. I really like how it looks now. It kind of looks like a real racetrack. When you look at F1 racetracks that have passovers like this, fantastic. And of course you'll go around. All the people in the corner say hi. And then we move to the race. Here we go, guys. All right. Take for a few laps. Once again, no gigantic surprise. It takes off on the first go. It's driving nice. Sounds good. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely AFX fantastic. This car looks great. Drives nice on my urban track. We're gonna take it to the super speedway right away. See how she performs. If you've been watching the series on uh, uh, magnets, uh, you already know how this car will perform. An AFX chassis is indeed just that, an AFX Mega G Plus chassis. There's no way of getting around it. You either have a 1.5 or you have a 1.7 chassis and they're all gonna come with the level 30 magnet in it. 30 magnet is okay on a totally flat, slow track, um, but it sure doesn't allow for fun on super fast tracks. So, 
So here we are at the Super Speedway. We're gonna take the Ford GT40. We're cruising around the Super Speedway. We'll be running the outside lane, which is the red lane. Here we go. So I've obviously toned it down on the uh, the Volt because uh, you know I don't really need this car turning into a jet plane for this demonstration. We pretty much all know um, what Mega G Plus chassis run like. Uh, they're pretty tried and true. They run super super fast. And uh, well, it's pretty much all up to the shell that's sitting on top of the beautiful chassis. Today, of course, we're looking at the Ford. GT40. This has the exact same design as the red number one. All right, before we head out, I just want to thank you guys for joining me today in this look at the paintable Ford GT40. It's by AFX Race Masters. For anybody who wants to make their own race car, this is exactly it. Here it is. This car has exactly the same detail as the two cars behind it. They are exactly the same shell. Obviously, those ones have been painted. Ladies and gentlemen, this indeed is your opportunity to own the race car of your dreams. Part number 22070. I want to thank you all for watching today. And don't forget, get your heart racing. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. You want to go do flat cars in the garage? Yep.